I can't terrible. take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? Tell. That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... Kidnapped! Oh, Ricky! I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? Out of school, find our boy friends and beat the life out of whoever took him. Good plan. Thanks. I just came up with it. Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako. And Ricky. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text. <laughs> oh, yeah! It says, uh, Blocked Caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on.
It's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako. Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm teaching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls, haven't seen them, but we'll like so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. Seem nice. Yeah, but they're crazy. Oh? They think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. Gonna be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! I hope Miss Suzu's not here today. Oh, jeez, what if she is? Are you gonna let a 300 pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No.
Bullets are a disgrace. Oh well, at least she'll stop. <laughs> No sign of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. Miss Suzu. Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha ha! You scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly. No way. Flies are easy to hurt. As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years. Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu! I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of the school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed! Get over here! Security. Maybe she's on break. Uh oh. Out of our way, Miss Suzu. Yeah, we don't want. Get over here! are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. Don't make us fight you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. 
Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Hey, is that a compliment or? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much.
ways to get out of that crappy school. For sure. Wanna go see a movie? We're looking for our boyfriends, remember? Oh yeah! We should ask if they wanna go too. <laughs> Let's go find that creepy guy. <laughs> your head off oh i'm no creep i'm godai is that supposed to mean something to us we've been neighbors since third grade oh yeah hey misako it's that creepy guy who lives down the street from you oh yeah didn't you get kicked out of your school for taking secret photos of the girls volleyball team who <laughs> me <laughs> uh, anyway nice weather right you you catch that recent sports game what do you want godai I've been watching you two. See? Ew. And I think I can help. You're looking for Ricky and Kunio, right? Well, I keep tabs on everyone. You know who took my Ricky poo? Not yet, but I will soon. In the meantime, you help me, and I'll help you. What do you want? For starters, I'm pretty hungry. Go get me a double Merv burger. Stop being lazy. Yeah, it's just down the street. Exactly! Bring me a double Merv burger and you will be handsomely rewarded. Miladies, because I'm so handsome. <laughs> Get it?
Let me know if you want anything. I look fabulous. <sighs> More customers. Next time, bring more money. Burger. Ah, broiled beef of the gods. I'm never eating fast food again. We got your dumb burger. Now, what do you know about Cuneo and Ricky? Boy, that hit the spot. Okay, you mentioned they were talking to someone creepy looking. No, we didn't, actually. How did you? Well, you know, word gets around. Anyway, my guess is they were talking to Yamada. Who's that? A kid from Reiho High School. Or he used to be, anyway, before he started practicing the dark arts. 
That's not a thing. It's totally a thing. Yamada usually hangs out at the mall. Go see if he's there. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Misako. Good luck. And keep an eye out for your old pal, Godai. Maybe we can help each other out again. I'll be around.
there. Buy something. Got it. What you need? Sure thing. See you later. Hey, you found us. So what you want? Hey, you found us. So what you want? Joseph, you ready to break a leg? Beat up the world, dude.
if you're hungry. Hey, what can I get you? Uh -oh. Hang on, that might not be necessary. Yeah, but it's fun. Your name's Hiroshi, right? You remembered me. I took your lunch money once. Yeah. <laughs> Water under the bridge. Anyway, the mall is supposed to be open, but that security guard, Pattinson, must be asleep at home again. How do we get inside? Just hang out here for a while. We'll eventually wake up and come to work. What? No, we need to get in there now. We have reasons, important ones. Hey, me too. The latest issue of Cosmic Mega Babes just got released. And if you think I'm gonna download the digital manga version, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. I don't know what any of that means. Where's this guard live? North Ravine Lane. But I wouldn't recommend waking him. I, uh, I tried that once. Thanks, Hiroshi. We'll be right back. Go! 
Get out of my house! 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 Let's get back to the mall.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Nice job! And now open these doors so we can start shopping! Squee! No. But... Kyoko... Just a few stores? Remember, Ricky? <sighs> okay, let's go find that spooky Amada guy.
Yoshi. Did you get your Space Girls comic book thingy? Uh, Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be. He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally anytime. My life is pretty boring. i
construction site? It's so yucky. Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy! He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. If rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky pill? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax, I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? <sighs> it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But, as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name was Cunio, and he seemed... nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Cunio and I became best friends. <laughs> we read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Cunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. And so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Kunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge on Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later, middle school. Okay, we get it, jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be... Okay, wait up love of your life you barely met the girl did he even meet her wait yeah did you even meet her love needs no introduction that's not how love works listen freak show i don't care about your childhood your crush on trash queens or any fakey magic tricks you learned we're looking for kunio and ricky and ricky so either tell us who took him or stop wasting our time <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew.
Ladies, welcome to my lair. I was 10 years old when my family moved. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same. Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a... I was 10 years old when my family... I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same...
Ladies, welcome to my lair. I was 10 years old. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the Try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, cause it's spooky. Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy.
Medical. What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Happy rampaging. Come back soon. Huh? Seems pretty fancy. And expensive. And judgy. Yeah. We don't belong here, do we? No, we do not.
you again. I got another mission for you. This time it's that pompous mayor of ours, always acting like he runs River City. Psh. You seen that hideous golden statue they built of him? Well, I want it gone. Destroy it and I'll reward you. Yoko. What's up? What are you doing in Uptown? I live here. You're rich? No, but my parents are. Have you seen Kunio and Ricky around here? Nope. Why? They ditch you guys again? Again? No, they got kidnapped. For real? That's pretty metal. No, it's pretty sad and it makes my heart hurt. Oh, Ricky. Yoko, show her your text. Oh, yeah. Hmm, you should go talk to Hibari. Who? Uh, the fashion designer? Jeez, don't you guys know anything? I shop at Discount. I found the shirt at a bus stop. The thug in this photo, the one shoving your boyfriends into the van? She's wearing one of Hibari's custom jackets. Ooh, nice detectiving! Everyone who's cool wears Hibari. No offense. None taken. Hibari's warehouse is at the east end of Uptown. Show her this photo. She might know who took your boyfriends.
Find that fashion lady and ask her about the dude in the photo. Masako? Yeah? Do you think we're badly dressed? Heck no. We look amazing. I guess so. Is this the place? Let's find out. <laughs> hey! Do any of you ladies know a Habari? They're not answering. Maybe they're busy. Well, they don't have to be rude. Let's come back later.
dork alert. Oh, it's you guys again. What's up, Hasabe? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Looking stylish as hell. Do you two know this fashion lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. I usually am. Hibari is the fashion icon in River City. She's making us custom outfits. Well, where is she? Yeah, we got questions. Oh, let me guess. How do socks work? <laughs> What's a bra? <laughs> I know what a bra is! Uh, you need an offering for Hibari to show up, Misako. Jeez, everyone knows that. Except them, apparently. An offering? Something fancy. Expensive. And gold. Can it just be colored gold? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kyoko. Let's go find an offering. Something gold to make that weirdo fashion designer show up. But we're so poor. Let's try the pawn shop in the toy district. Maybe we can trade him something. We like a knuckle sandwich. How you're talking. <laughs>
a pawn shop? Looks pretty empty. We have to head downstairs. It's in the basement. Can't we take the elevator? Yeah. No, wait. It's broken. I'm not used to walking this much. and keep fighting. How many floors have we gone down? Six? Twelve? Three. Wonder why everyone in our town is so violent? Nope. 
I mean, everyone's always punching and kicking each other. Like, everywhere we go, all day long. I guess so. What's your point? Nothing.
<laughs> Welcome to my pawn shop. Is that a talking skeleton? Rude! You act like I'm not even here. Sorry. How do you talk without lips? Unimportant! How can I help you? Might I interest you girls in a stuffed monkey? Ew, no! How about an unstuffed monkey? We need something gold. Well, I'm all out of golden monkeys. What about that golden cat? Oh, that? A treasure indeed, from lands far away. How much, Boney? One million dollars! You're joking. I would never joke about such a precious item. Can we get a discount? Well, I can take five dollars off. But just so you know, that's pretty much break even for me. What about that cat? The other gold one? Oh, that? Ten dollars. It looks exactly like the million dollar one. Yeah, but it's not real gold. Sold. <laughs> Let me bag that up for you. Kyoko, no Joko. Don't ever say that. Sniveling. Snivel, little snail, do it! Yo, what's the problem here? Mind your own business. Yeah, beat it, new girl. Sure thing. Did she just kick my head? More stone me. My beautiful head. Yeah, you better run. Get up, kid. What's your name? So cool. That's a weird name. I'm Masako. You're so cool, Misako. Tell me something I don't know. Come on, let's get this knockoff cat back to that fashion designer.
supposed to do something now? I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy your gold cat or whatever. Hmm. It's a little banged up. It's also not real. Heavy! It's not real heavy. Except it is, because it's gold. Right, Kyoko? Oh! Ah, uh, that is correct. The offering is acceptable. What would you like designed? Can you do mini skirts? Actually, we need information. I don't do information. I do fashion. And you're wasting my time. Our boyfriends got kidnapped. The guy in this photo is wearing one of your jackets. So? Find me someone in River City not wearing my fashion. We aren't. Ugh, I can see that. Enough insults! We got your dumb cat! Now float down here and help us! Sick of this crappy cosplay spider stick. You look ridiculous. <laughs> She's just a little grumpy. Now, about that mini skirt. I have never in my life been spoken to as you just addressed me. You come into my den looking like high school hobos and lecture me on fashion. I like fashion. Fashion is fun. No. Fashion is life, just not for you two.
nice entrance. Enjoy your gold cat or whatever.
entrance. Enjoy your gold cat or whatever.